Okay, how okay. hey, many were here 10 years ago? Raise your hands. <laughs> 10 year team. All right, Glenn was here. I was here. Hey, I started thinking about that, uh, that practice from 10 years ago. Kenny McKinley, Carlos Thomas, Murdoch, Sidney Rice, all those receivers running around. Uh, but anyway, we had a pretty good workout. The guys are in excellent shape. Joe Connolly and our strength staff done a super job as usual through the summer. Uh, players seem to have worked very hard and conditioning wise, uh, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, but other than that, uh, sort of a, a decent practice, decent practice. Our centers can't throw the ball back to the quarterbacks very well yet. So whoever can do it will be the starting center because right now both of them uh, were a little bit erratic. Uh, but Dylan looks good. Uh, Connor Mitch looked much improved tonight. And uh, Perry Orth threw some good ones in there. Uh, Brendan Nosevich actually played a little tight end and quarterback tonight. He's a very good athlete, trying to find a place where he can get on the field and help us. Uh, other than that, defense looked fast. They were flying around. So nobody got hurt. So it's always a good practice when that happens. Steve, uh, Wayne says that there's something special about this team. Well, we hope so. We hope so. They got good team chemistry, uh, but that just means uh, they all get along with each other. We'll find out if they can all play very well. Uh, new quarterback, uh, some new receivers here and there. Uh, Jarrell Adams really was running around fast. Man, he he looked as fast as Jared Cook out there tonight. It already reminded me of. Uh, but anyway, it was a pretty good first workout. Uh, the players, they all like each other. That's, that's true right there. So uh, attitude-wise, we're in good shape. Do you know how close Mike Davis is to uh, taking off that yellow jersey? I don't I'm think he'll off. practice till next week sometime, but we'll wait and see. Those other three packs <laughs> looked awfully good. Sean Carson, Brandon Wiles, and Dave Williams, they were fast, flying around. Uh, so if, if Mike, that ham sometimes those hamstrings linger you know, a long time. But we, we got good running backs, so we're we're in good shape there. Any other Concerned? young guys that kind of stood out mm -hmm. to you? Any other young guys that kind of stood out to you? Today? Young guys, uh, they all just rotated in there. Uh, they did okay. Y'all were here. You saw it. Are you yeah. concerned that Mike just keep it? It's, it's concerned, always something with yeah, Mike. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. He's getting treatment. He says he'll be ready next week. He says. So uh, we'll, we'll see. But those hamstrings, you never know how bad a guy pulls one, you know? Sometimes they think they'll be back in two weeks, and sometimes they linger quite a while. So we'll see. You touched on the 10 yeah. years. The, I mean, just looking mm -hmm. back and comparing it to now, not just the wins, mm -hmm. but just the overall attitude and culture here. Uh, well, th th there were a good bunch of guys. We just got better players than we had 10 years ago. Those, those guys had good attitude. They really did. Savelle Newton, Blake Mitchell, all those guys. Uh, and gosh, that team won five in a row SCC games. That was a school record back then. Did you know that, Phil? Didn't know that. Well, you need to check the record, but <laughs> we'd never won five in a row before. And uh, somehow or another, yeah, we were 0-3. And uh, somehow or another, won at Tennessee, beat Florida, Arkansas, and, you know, banned in Kentucky. So that team was a pretty good team. Steve, you mentioned your schedule mm -hmm. on Thursday. Mm -hmm. it is so, it's so front-loaded compared to the rest of the league. Are you okay with front -loaded, it? Front-loaded? You mean the, you play five conference games more of the in, best the, first, teams. in yeah. the first half of the season? I mean, you, you're going to know a lot of your yeah. fate by October. Yeah, well, that's the way it's sort of been. Uh, we play uh, Coastal and Clemson the last two last year, so we were finished in conference play after the first uh, ten. Uh, so that's similar. But... Uh, well, we got South Alabama in there this this year somewhere. But they're in the now we, we play them whenever. I think it's a very good schedule because we're home away, home away, home away, home away, and the first three are at home. So we just gotta we just gotta go play them one at a time. See what happens. How was Connor Mitch improved from a his fundamentals, uh, decision making, threw a good ball. He throws a nice spiral, and uh, act like he knew what he was doing. Act like he practiced this summer, and listened to Dylan a little bit. Uh, <laughs> D Dylan had a good good night also, and he's been helping uh, coach the other quarterbacks in the summer. <clears throat> yeah. Any okay. update on Joe Blue? Uh, not yet, not yet. Uh, uh, we've got an appeal in, and they're going to talk about it. That's all I know right now. Do you know when you're yeah. left? Uh, within the next couple of days, I, I believe. 